In this lesson, we are going to learn how to add whole numbers and find the perimeter. So let's review some num or words that mean add. So plus, more than, some, increased by, and total. So those all represent this symbol here, add. So before we start adding, we have some properties to talk about. Now some of these might seem a little obvious to you, but the important part is to know what these words mean because we're going to apply them in later chapters when we're dealing with variables because these properties work even when we have variables in our problems. So the first property is called the addition property of zero. And the addition property of zero says the sum, so add, so if you add any number, so if we take seven, and we add zero to it, so we add nothing to it, our sum is still seven. So it's still that same number. So that just means you can put plus zero to anything and it's still the same. So for example, if we have nothing and then we add five to it, it's still five. And that also works with variables. If we have x and we add nothing, zero to it, it's still x. The next property is called the commutative property. And the commutative property says changing the order, that's the keyword order, of the numbers does not change the sum. So if we had two of something and then we add three, that's five. If we have three and then we add two more to three, it's still five. All we did was we switched the order of the numbers, but the sum still stayed, stays the same. So commutative property just says if you change the order when you add, it's still the same. Now I remember this property means changing order because commutative property starts with a C and an O. Those are the two first letters. So it helps me remember C for change and O for order. So it helps me remember what that property means. Then the third property is called the associative property. And the associative proper me property tells us that we can change the grouping So what that means is if we had to add these three numbers up, that we can put parentheses around these two and say, let's just add two and one first. So two plus one is three, and then add the five to it, and we would get eight. But we could have also done the same exact problem. Instead, we could have said, oh, let's add the one and the five together, and one plus five if 6, then add 2 to it to get 8. So the associative property says that when you're adding 3 numbers, 4 numbers, when you're adding bottom line, that you can group in parentheses whichever two numbers you want, and you're still going to get the same sum in the end. So here I group the 2 and the 1, here I group the 1 and the 5, and it's still the same. All right, so when we add numbers, we always want to line up the place values. So if we were going to add 36 plus 24, we would need to take the 6 and the 4 here and line them up because they are both in the same place value. They're in the ones, they're both ones digits. So we have them lined up. Then step two is we're going to start here. And we're going to start adding the ones place first. So if we take 6 and add 4 to it, that's 10. But we have to do what's called carrying. You're going to carry if the sum is more than 9. So six, the 6 plus the 4 is 10. We're going to take the, the ones 
here. And then we're going to take the, the one here and carry it over here. So now we have 3 plus 2, but we have that 1 that we carried over, which makes 6. So we get an answer of 60. Now that answer that we get for some more vocab here is called the sum. So the answer we get is called the sum. And the numbers that we add together, the 36 and the 24, are called add-ins. All right, example two. The highest point in Jack's home state is Mount O'Neill, which is 34,285 feet. The highest point in Samantha's home state is Mount Carter, whose peak is 149,761 feet higher than Mount O'Neill. So Samantha, the mountain in Samantha's hometown, is the same height as Jack's plus, it's more than, plus 149,761 feet higher so we want to know how tall this whole mountain is, since it's this much higher. So to find the total, total means add. So we're going to take Jack's, um, Mount O'Neill's height, and add on the extra to find how tall Samantha's home state mountain is. So we're going to add. It doesn't matter which number goes first because of the commutative property. The order doesn't matter. So I'm going to take 149,761. And we have to add that to the 34,285. So I have to make sure, since the 5 here is in the 1s and so is this 1 here, I need to make sure that the 5 lines up at the far right. So everything is lined up now. Now we're going to add. So 1 plus 5 is 6. And then 6 plus 8 is 14. So since it's 14, the 4 is going to go here. And the 1 we're going to carry over. So now we have 7 plus 2 plus the 1 we carried is 10. So we're going to carry the 1 over, and we have 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14. So we're going to carry the 1 over, and then 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8. And then we have 1 plus, there's nothing here, so 1 plus 0 is 1. Then we start at the far right of the number and count 3. 1, 2, three and then we put a comma here and that is our height and feet of Samantha's home state Mount Carter okay next thing we're going to talk about is perimeter because perimeter does involve um, adding so we're going to do some application here so perimeter when you're asked to find the perimeter the word perimeter starts with the letter P, so that helps me remember P for plus. To find perimeter, we're going to plus. We're going to find the distance around the polygon. So if we take this triangle, this is called a triangle, it has three sides, and imagine you are a person and you were to walk all the way across here, that means you walk seven centimeters, and then you turn, and you go t two more centimeters, and then you go three centimeters. Perimeter is what we call if we go all the way around. The total when we go all the way around an object. So, seven plus two plus three. 
Now we learned that the associative property says we can group, when we add these, we can do it in any order we want. So if we want to add the 2 and the 3 to get 5, and then add the 7 to get 12, we can add in any order. So we get 12, now we have to add a label on. So our label here, if we're walking, since it's perimeter, we're going to label it 12 centimeters. There is, when we label, we keep the label feet, meters, it's it measured linear. No exponent is needed for perimeter. Okay, next example, we have a rectangle. And a rectangle is just a four-sided um, polygon that has four right angles. So there's right angles here. That's how we know we have a rectangle. And we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So if we take a look here, if they tell us that this side here is 8, we know then that this side is 8 feet here. And since they told us that this side here is 15 feet, then we know that this side is 15 feet. Now notice, in addition, we, we know that because it's a rectangle, but even if we didn't know that, in this particular picture, this one line here represents that that side is equal. And this has two lines, it means that this side goes with it. It has two lines, they're equal. So that's what those lines there mean, that, the, that those sides match up. So if we want to find perimeter, we're going to go ahead and add all the sides together. So go ahead and do that. So when we add, we can do this in any order. So I'm going to group, using the associative property, the 15 and the 15 together. That's 15 plus 15 is 30. And then I have 8 plus 8 is 16. And then 30 plus 16 equals 46 feet. All right, last example, we have a square, and a square has four right angles, so it's a rectangle. But what makes it different is notice all the sides have this one little dash here. That means all the sides are the same. So they're all four inches. So a square has four equal sides and four right angles. So if we want to find the perimeter, we need to add all the sides. So I can group those together. That's 8. That's 8. And 8 plus 8 is 16 inches.